Hey, how you doing? Good to have you here. It's been a while, but it's time for a little bit of a Professor Pep talk. Have you heard of this book before? The Secret. It was a pretty big thing back in 2005 or six. But it's a bit of a weird thing. You see, The Secret tells you, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a backstory. The Secret kind of preaches that if you have this positive mindset, you can manifest whatever successes you like in your life. So basically, this book sort of suggests, I'll put that down, you can grab a copy of that on Amazon if you're interested. I don't necessarily recommend it because I think it's flawed to some degree, in my opinion, the professor's opinion. But basically what this book suggests is that you can positively think your way into successes. So you can sit on your couch, covered in Cheetos, and just, you know, positive think, Lamborghini, Lamborghini, and poof! A Lamborghini just magics into your living room. Just magics. Boom. And we think, well, sounds a bit far-fetched. Too right it's far-fetched. You can't just magic a Lamborghini into your lounge room now, can you? Now they suggest that, you know, positive thinking, vision boards, Lamborghini, 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 eventually you will find your way into a Lamborghini. But the thing that they forget to mention is positive thought, yes, is important in creating the vision However, positive action is what gets it done. We can't just all, you know, positive think. I mean, let's do this as an example. If you're sitting at home, wherever, having a beer, the beer runs out. Let's just try and refill the beer or get a new beer right here, right now. You're home all by yourself. There's no one else home. The fridge is all the way six, ten metres away over there in the kitchen. Mm, need a fresh beer, need a fresh beer. Mm, magic a fresh beer. We can't freaking magic a fresh beer either, can we? We can't magic anything to come to us. We can't magically change the channel. We can't positively think anything into affirmation. Well, we can, but we need the positive action. If we have the positive thought that we need a fresh beer, then the next step is to get up off the couch, go to the fridge, and retrieve a fresh beer, and then the positive thought and the positive action have combined together for success. Success of our vision of getting a fresh beer. Okay, and why do I bring this up? Well, I think at the moment, I'm seeing a lot of people that are very dissatisfied with Zed and not getting horses, but possibly you're doing too much of this. Mm, I need a horse, I need a horse, I need a horse, I need a horse. Magic a horse. And the horse doesn't turn up. And everyone's getting very upset about no magic horses turning up. Magic a horse. Yeah, there's no magic horse turning up. But you see, it's not the way it works. That's the way the secret works. And everyone's getting very frustrated that we can't magic a million dollars or magic a new digital horse into our digital stables. But what we're forgetting is, what we seem to be forgetting as a group, or some of us are forgetting and some of us are not, some of the stables that I'm watching are moving forward at a rapid pace. But they're not sitting on the couch covered in Cheeto dust, oh, trying to magic a horse. It's just not happening. They're getting out there, they're doing research, they're finding horses and they're buying those horses and racing them and doing very well. Stables like Doofy, Good Boy Racing, Enzo, Aloha, there's many others that are building incredible stables. There was one the other day that I saw, Arbitrage. I think it's called Arbitrage, doing incredibly well. But they're not trying to magic a horse. They're getting out there on open sea. They're looking for the bargains. They're doing their research. They're checking the odds, the win rates, the ROIs, buying these horses. I met a new mate the other day, Tony. Tony, I'm sorry, the professor has forgotten your stable name. But Tony owns Steph Curry and Victoria Taurus. I think I'm pronouncing that roughly correctly. Now Tony's a doer as well. Positive thought, positive action equals success. Tony didn't sit around trying to 
maybe if I get calmer, if I get more peace at centre, I can magic up horse. No, it doesn't work. We need positive action as well. Okay, forget about whenever you hit, I'll get back to the Tony story in a moment. Whenever you hit a roadblock, a bad drop, no free horse or win a free horse. No, you didn't win a free horse. Yes, you did win a free horse. You know, for, by sure, all means, the first reaction is to be upset about that and complain. But the second step is to get on and do something about it. Get out there and make actions to build your stable. Tony, as I said, he's got two incredible horses. He was telling me a story just the other day that his first four or five horses that he bought on OpenSea, no good. But he kept researching and kept looking for horses and eventually he bought Steph Curry, I think, for about $200. Steph Curry is now one of the greatest horses in current Z history. He didn't get that through, oh, I need a free, I need a magic horse, Bob magic horse. He didn't get that. It wasn't a magic horse. It wasn't a magic horse. He got that because he got out there and he was checking open sea, looking for bargains, looking for great value, and he bought Steph Curry. Now, my apologies if I got that price completely wrong. Maybe it was a little bit more expensive than that. But the point is, the way these stables are building this successful story is through action. It's through working. It's through buying. It's through research. It's through all these things. Okay, so now look, apologies. If you're getting upset at this video, if, you, if this video upsets you and you feel like it's aimed at you and I'm attacking you, well, I'll tell you what, let's do this little exercise together. I want you to stare at the screen that you're watching the YouTube on and positively think unsubscribe. Mm. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Don't touch anything, just unsubscribe, unsubscribe. I don't like this guy, so unsubscribe me, unsubscribe. Boom, magic unsubscribe. Did it work? No, it didn't. You got to press the button. You got to take action and press the unsubscribe. So if you're annoyed at this video, give me a thumbs down. You won't be able to magic it. You won't be able to magic the unsubscribe, but just go and unsubscribe. It's all good. If you enjoyed it, if you think it's funny and we're having a laugh, then give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and share the video with someone that needs to get out there and start taking action instead of just trying to magic a horse. Catch you next time.